Set booster boxes. Love them or hate them, apparently they're here to stay. Let's talk about it as we open a set booster box. Good luck to my patron. Hey guys, welcome back. MTG Moxman here. Another little D&D &D conversation. Uh, let's pick on set boosters, shall we? Let's pick on them. Because I don't like them. I've decided I just don't like them. And there's lots of reasons. And number one, uh, today it won't open. So there we go, Kyle. My, my winner patron from... <sighs> Look at this thing, man. These things are like not wind open. That's it, Kyle. I'm tearing in. I don't care. I'm not sending you the box anyway. It's horrible. All right, Kyle. There you go, buddy. It's opened. So we're going to go over my complaints about set boosters today. Because I can't. Number one, hate the boxes. Not because I couldn't open it. That's not the reason. Um, I do not like the fact there's less cards. They charge more for the potential of having possibly better cards inside. Which, of course, we'll go over today and see if that's actually correct, okay? So we'll, we'll give that bad boy a test today. Let me just straighten this out. And we'll see. But I myself have not enjoyed... Most of my set booster box openings just because of the fact that there always seems to be, I don't know, not enough for me. It just doesn't, I don't know. There's something about it that bothers me. So, uh, we'll put the art cards over there. There's a land. How many commons here? This one's always different. I don't like that there's no organizational pattern to it. Okay? It really bothers me. There's more. See? We got a yun T thingy. We got a thing there. We got... Uh, resurrection card from the list now i understand the list cards can be cool but guess what the list should only have cool cards understand that i believe the list should only have cool cards there shouldn't be a chance there shouldn't be a chance for any bad cards what did i do did i mess up the uh, focus on this again already wow that's like typical of me what's going on let's let's uh, refocus here can we get this right can we can we refocus now maybe Sorry, guys, I'm not sure what's going on, but the focus is, like, messed up. Does that help? Nothing. All right, we're in for a blurry one, boys and girls. I can't really go back and start again now, can I? So let's just keep complaining about how much I don't like these sets. Because, well, there's lots of reasons why. The main one is, I don't like the fact Wizards milks us for more money, gives us less stuff, Calls it a better deal, and we're just left holding the bag, as it were. I don't know. There's just something about it, guys. It is it is never set well with me that you think the shipping costs them less, everything costs them less, but they charge us more. Hey, it's a full art. Should we put it? We'll put it over there. That really bothers me. The idea that they charge me more. Oh, it looks like the focus worked out again. They charge me more. They give me less. They make me sort these myself. Hey, Dungeon Descent, another worthless, and I have a problem with that. It's just one of those things I do not like. They could fix it. They could give us a couple more cards or truly make these better packs that you actually warrant the value. But that would mean revamping everything to make foils harder to get, to make other cards more difficult to find. And they're not going to do that anytime soon. They're going to leave us guessing and wondering if we're getting a good deal. Hey, we got a young Pyromancer. I remember that used to be worth something. Is it worth something now? I don't know. Yeah, I dropped a wrapper bit. I understand. Oop, backwards again. Blink dog. Foil land. Oop. So I sit there and say, I would rather stick with my draft boosters and be happy than have to hunt through these. Not that they can't be fun. I'm just saying in general, I'm not impressed with them. Hey, Drist is in the house. All right. I will continue to skip them now. I'm going to give them a pass. I know Wizards is trying to push these because it does save the money. I, I get that. But I've decided that I do not have to participate. Right? Participation will be done only if a patron asks for it. If one of my viewers like you guys wants one of these opened, I'll open. But I think I'll be skipping this as a product. In the future. I just don't see me wanting to open more. There's other ways to spend my money. And a full art dragon is one of them. Is that my first full art? Oh, no. Full art's over there. I got some lands that were full art. 
so we'll see. Wizards, it feels to me, is really pushing this as a product. They really, uh, first Mythic, they really want this to be successful, okay? They really do. And I just, I don't care, I guess, is the best way of looking at what they want. I want what's best for me because I'm a person and I want my needs met. And if they don't meet them, I will find them elsewhere. Isn't that the old adage? It's like, nope, I'll do it myself. That's fine. Like I said, some people really like these. They find them very, uh, very cool, very entertaining. And I can understand that because the, the, oh, the thing you can get some cool cards in here definitely has dawned on me that we can find some cool cards and there might be better. But let's, you know, after I've done a lot of openings on this, I'll be honest, there doesn't seem to be that many more mythics. Um, or you might get more mythics, but they're not any of the valuable mythics. How about that? They're just cards, right? They're just cards. Like so far, let's be honest, would this, would this box impress you? Kyle, are you impressed right now sitting at home listening to me yak about how I don't like these? I wonder. I mean, you won it, so I mean, you're, you're probably cool. You're like, hey, it's all good with me, man. I understand. But when I open these, I go, oh, all this sorting and time and are they good? Are they valuable? Is this worth my time and effort? I mean, I don't know. Hey, we got an old one. Look, we got a, a worn power stone. There you go, we'll put that one in a special slot because it even has a cool old border to it, which I mean, I gotta admit that does look nice. I don't know if it's worth anything. I haven't looked it up or anything. Maybe one of you guys will tell me, haha, it's worth nothing, right? I mean, they could lower down the whole set entirely and then charge us less and I'd be happy. How about that, wizards? How's that sound to you? Tardis, right? doesn't even have trample. Remember that, guys. As much as I see this card, it doesn't have trample and that bothers me. See, no trample. No trample, sucks, but it's a mythic. They made it a mythic with nothing decent about the card. Costs a lot to get out. It's gonna die most times and we're all gonna be mad about it. So that's fine. Again, the only thing I got a complaint for that kind of stuff for the, for the actual set itself is cards like that where we know, I know what that card should be like and they didn't do it right. So that was my complaints for D&D as a set. Maybe some functional parts of the card, like it should have trample, stuff like that. Might be a beef I have, but I love the set overall. I like the flavor, the text. I love it. I love it. And that's fine. I understand a lot of people don't like this set. Hey, another card. We got Chatter the Squirrel. Put a squirrel token into play, sure. Man, this thing is pretty light so far, or far in terms of uh, getting some of the cool cards though, right? Like we're kind of getting denied here quite a bit. So unless the second half of this box has some amazingness things that we don't know about, like an adult gold dragon being 4-3, you're telling me that's... I don't care if it has flying and haste. I don't care. It's not that good of a card. Not for five. I'm sorry. It, that one there again, it's like... <sighs> gold dragons are like really rare and they're like giant 400 foot long beasts. I think you got to give them a little more respect than that, wizards, but that's okay. So yeah, back to my argument about the set boosters though. I think what we're going to find is if people don't accept these and people don't start buying them. Hey, we got Tiamat. Hello, Tiamat. Very nice, Kyle. You got Tiamat. Um, then what will happen is wizards will throttle back. If these sit on store shelves and we don't accept them, wizards will either revamp them to make them better, to make us accept them. Uh, and after we accept them, they'll slowly throttle back and ruin it for us because that's what they do. They'll make it look like it's a good deal at first. Then they throttle it. We get messed up and angry, and then they just fix it again later. That's what's going to happen. We talked about this, how they, you know, charge us more, give us less. Right? It's all, you know, less is more. Like the old cereal boxes and everything else in life. You get less, but we're going to charge you more because, you know, the shipping costs are that much more. Are they? Are they really that much more? I don't think so. Uh, we got a list of uh, Daxos the Return, but it's a mythic. Commander, I guess, right? See, like... To me, that card shouldn't be there. When I think of a cool list card, Daxos is not the guy I'm thinking about, just so you know. The Black Dragon's kind of cool, but again, he's not worth anything because he made the dragon so weak in this set that nobody cares. Nobody cares at all. I don't know. This set box so far, I would rate it a uh, 3 out of 10. That's what we're going to get so far. That's the, that's the Mox Man rating of things. 3 out of 10. Because I'm not happy with what I've seen. Kyle deserves better. 
We don't care about Barbarian class. We don't care about the commons. Den of the Bugbear. Uh, three rares. Okay, three rares, right? Three amazing rares. No, they're all junk rares, and we don't care about them. Is my thing messed up again? I love when this happens. That's okay. You guys can look at a blurry background and listen to me complain and kefetch about how I don't like some of these things. That's what happens in life. You get a blurry, unclean glass, and that's how life goes. Most people have turned this video off by this point and said, I'm not watching, because I understand. I feel the same way sometimes when I get the blurry going. Or maybe it's not blurry. You had too much to drink last night, and this is just all an optical illusion caused by the fact you had too much to drink. Just, you know, it could be that. You don't know. You don't know my story, or do you? Oh, so many good cards. Remember when box openings? There, I fixed it. Remember when box openings used to be new? And nobody really did them. And like Rudy at Alpha Investments was one of those first people to put out like, oh, look at this gorgeous box opening. And it's amazing. Hey, Mordigan. Right? Remember that? Remember it was all new and fancy? And a Boros Challenger. I remember that too. I remember that. And by the way, I love box openings. I really do. I enjoy the conversation time with you guys. And I'm trying, in case you guys didn't notice... I get very caught up in looking at the art and pictures on cards. So I try not to do that now, which is why we're having conversations. It keeps me more focused on just sorting the cards, talking with you guys, and getting down to the seriousness of whatever I want to talk about and not being distracted by whatever I pull, which is what usually happens. So you guys will inform me, White Dragon, if I did a better job, if things worked out, you guys will let me know how this video went because uh, that's what people tend to do. And either that or it'll get tons of thumbs down and sleeping potion. And nobody will care. It's going to get 200, 300 views. And it gets buried. And Kyle is sad because nobody watched his videos. I mean, that's what happens, right? If a video doesn't get enough views at the beginning, it just gets buried by YouTube and nobody sees it. So we can hope that with my amazing, amazing amount of viewers, that we can possibly crack you the 500 view count with that Vorpal Blade a cool rapier that nobody cares about, and, you know, a Friday Night Magic token. That's the funny thing. Alright, it is funny, I'm telling you. We got a lonesome guy, we got some more D&D &D cards of, of common variety. I do like the fact there's less commons inside the set booster. We got the Infer- Hey, this is a good pack! Okay, this is where it can be fun. We cracked the Inferno of the Star Mount, cool. We got a foil Tiamat to go with the regular Tiamat, Kyle. And then we fall with a Vernal Equinox, which is a Marcadia Mass card. Any player that play a creature card, champion spells, any time play instance. That's kind of cool, right? So we got some cool cards in that one, I have to admit. Uh, that's a Mythic. I guess I'll just leave that in the Mythic pile. That was a good one. So now I'm going to bump this box up to a 6. Because we got some extra cards in there, made me happier. And I will forgive Wizards for some of their transgressions during this filming of what made things fuzzy because they gave me such a bad, bad box. Because Kyle didn't deserve a bad box. We got three packs left here. Let's see, Kyle, if we can get you an old Gnawbones to end things off with beauty. Not the Temple of the Dragon Queen. Nobody cares. Nobody cares about the Temple of the Dragon Queen right now. Maybe later. All right. Okay. Not, not the worst. We got another Mythic. Full Art, uh, Zariel... The Archduke of, you know, tantrums and stuff. She was like an angel, got converted into a demon inside of D&D. Uh, &D. We got the Demi Lich. We got a foil land that nobody cares about. And of course, remember guys, if you enjoyed this video, you make sure to give this bad boy a thumbs up. Just tell it to all your friends. Spread word around that there's a cave dragon out there. Followed by a Mind Flare and a foil card nobody cares about. And one over here. Last pack. Kyle, good luck to you, sir. I hope things go well. Set boosters suck. I still don't like them. But I'm pulling this bad boy out for you. That's what's happening. I am doing it only for you, Kyle. This last pack, I'm actually going to pay attention. Bring all the stuff up here. Meteor Swarm, Volo, Owlbear that nobody cares about. And that is where we leave things. So, boom, Kyle. Hope you enjoyed the video. Looking forward to seeing the comments from everyone. Have a great one. Set boosters still aren't my friends. 
Hey guys, big shout out to all my patrons out there. Thanks a lot for again for the continued support. Hope you guys are having an awesome Saturday because you all deserve it. That's the way it should be. I'm banging the table saying that's how it's done. Have a great one, everyone. Hey guys, you made it to the end of the video. Congratulations, you're one of the lucky 300 who made it this far. It's like venturing into a dungeon. You don't know what's at the end. The adventure's not over yet. So guys, I look forward to seeing you on the live stream. See you then.